Hello, in this video I will be showing you my Starlight Filter Effect Action Set. So hopefully you've downloaded the Action Set from my website, jasonsalmon.com. Once you've done that, load it into Photoshop, you then decide what image you want to use. So, let's begin. Starlight 1. Let's see what that does. And you just go over to the action palette, press the button, and it will run its course. And you can just sit back and relax. And this one gives a starlight sort of blurry look going at 45 degrees. So, uh, anyway, let's do the next one starlight 1, 90 degrees. This does exactly the same but at 90 degrees instead of at 45. So, uh, and what I tend to do is I would then combine the two. So, uh, let's turn that one down, let's turn 90 degrees down. All right. And that's a bit more. Mm. Yeah, I'm fairly happy with that. So let's turn those off, go back to the background, and see what Starlight 2 has. So uh, press the button. And this is very similar to the first one, but this time it only really works in the highlights rather than across the whole image. So, yep, that's the first one. As you can see, there's a mask which is covering up the shadows. So, uh, let's try Starlight 2 at 90. And you press the button, and it will run its course. Once that's done, click on Starlight 2 and I'll turn Starlight 290 right down, I feel. Yep. I'm happy there, that's my image. There's also Add Stage 1, Add Stage 2, Add Stage 2 90 degrees. So uh, I'll show you what that does. But I'm going to show you that with a different image. This is a uh, inside the marquee with candles and it would have been fantastic if the candles were lit but with the time restraint there was no way of lighting these candles so uh, this action set will uh, hopefully give you something like uh, candles or any starlight so first of all you need to press stage one and the mask comes up and selects the brush for you and you do need to go in and obviously you need to take a little bit more time than what I do but just go around where you want the effect to appear so on all these candles this is where be nice to have the effect happening. And obviously you can take a bit more time than what I have. more candles to uh, do right. 
concept's done, you go to add stage two, and you decide whether you want the 45 degrees or 90 degrees. And I'll go to uh, the standard 45. So let's add start stage two, and you press press play. And depending on how fast your computer is, is how quickly it will mash through this action set. Almost there. Well, I said almost. Uh, maybe I should have went and made a cup of tea. Looking a bit more like it's got candles there. Not quite finished yet. Right, I think that's finished. So uh, you can then change the opacity, brightness, and the starlight. And you've also got your spots where the would be blown out where the candles would be so I tend not to touch that and then you can also if you want the one at the 90 degrees you then need to go back and press add stage one go back to that and then Obviously, you need to go into the image and press with your brush. Go in there. I won't do them all this time. I think you get the idea. So, once that's done, you go over to add stage 2, 90, and press play. See what that looks like, and that's pretty good. So you got your start folders for your both lights. There may be uh, one folder which hasn't got anything in it. Just happens to build that, so I can delete that one. So you got your spots, ninety degrees. 45 and with the 90 I'm going to back that right down so uh, it's just very visible so uh, I hope you agree that looks a little bit more like those candles are alive so I uh, hope you've downloaded the action set you use the action set and um, let me know how you get on thank you